Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure account lockout policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. Account lockout is an important security feature in Active Directory that helps protect user accounts from unauthorized access. Account lockout is a security measure that temporarily disables a user's Active Directory account after a certain number of field sign-in attempts within a specified time period. When the lockout threshold reached, the account is locked and the user is prevented from signing in until the lockout duration has passed or an administrator manually unlocks the account. Account lockout ensures that brute force attacks where an attacker repeatedly attempts to guess a user's password are mitigated. Locking the account prevents the attacker from guessing passwords, which protects the user's account and sensitive data. Keep in mind that there can only be one account lockout policy in the domain deployed using group policy object. For this demo, we have two VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msfdwebcast.com domain. We have another domain joined a Windows 10 VM. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. Click and expand Group Policy Objects node. Find the GPU with the name Default Domain Policy, right-click it and select Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Account Policies and click on Account Lockout Policy. We can see the list of Account Lockout Policy Settings. Account Lockout Threshold setting defines the number of failed login attempts allowed before the account gets locked out. For instance, if the threshold is set to 5, the account will be locked out after 5 consecutive failed login attempts. Click on Apply. Once you click on Apply, there will be a pop-up about suggested values for other settings like Account Lockout Duration, Allow Administrator Account Lockout, Reset Account Lockout Counter after. At this point, I am going to click on OK to accept the suggested values for this policy settings. Click OK. Click OK to close this setting as well. Reset Account Lockout Counter After option determines how long the bad logon counter resets to zero. The accepted range is 1 to 99,999 minutes. Let's set this value to 30. So for example, if this value is set to 30 minutes, in that case, the consecutive failed login attempts within 30 minutes will increment the bad login counter and eventually lock out the account once the account lockout threshold is reached. In this example, I am setting this value to 30 minutes. Click on Apply. Click OK on Suggested Values Change for Account Lockout Duration. Click OK. Account Lockout Duration setting specifies the length of time the account remains locked out after reaching the lockout threshold. The account will be automatically unlocked after this duration. The accepted range is 0 to 99,999 minutes. If the value is set to 0 minutes, the account remains locked in until an administrator manually unlocks it. In this example, I want that account is remain locked out until administrator manually unlocks the user account. Now I'm going to click on Apply and OK. We have last setting named Allow Administrator Account Lockout. This setting determines whether the built-in administrator account can be subject to the account lockout policy defined for other user accounts. By default, the built-in administrator account in Active Directory is exempted from account lockout policies to ensure that administrators can always access the system even if there are multiple failed login attempts. 
Since earlier, when we change account lockout threshold value, the setting is changed automatically to enabled. In this example, I'm going to disable this setting. This will not apply the lockout policy on built-in administrator account. Click on apply and OK. Keep in mind that I have set up this setting for this test environment for just testing purpose. You can set up the account lockout policy settings as per organization's requirement. After configuring account lockout policy, I'm going to close the group policy editor window. We don't have to link this GPO as default domain policy is already linked at root level. Under msftwebcast.com domain name, we can see default domain policy is already linked at domain level. Now we must wait for the policy settings to apply on the client computers. The default group policy refresh interval is 90 minutes. We can use gp update slash force command to manually update the group policy settings on client computers. To test the result, let's go to our Windows 10 computer. On the client computer, if you want to update the group policy settings at the earliest, open command prompt and run command gp update slash force. We have to wait for a few seconds to update the group policy settings on this client computer. We can see the computer and user policy update has been completed successfully. After we successfully applied the account lockout policy, it's time to test if this policy works in our organization. Pick a client computer and try entering the wrong password for a few times until the account is locked. To test that, let's sign out from this Windows 10 computer. Unlock the Windows 10 computer by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete key combination. At login screen, for testing purpose, enter incorrect passwords. When the account is logged out, you will see the message the reference account is currently locked out and not be logged on to. This confirms the Active Directory account lockout policy that we applied is working. To unlock the user account, we can either use Active Directory users and computers or a Windows PowerShell. Go back to our Active Directory domain controller. Open Active Directory users and computers from Server Manager. Right click the user account whose account needs to be unlocked and select properties. Click on account tab. This account is currently locked out on this Active Directory domain controller. Select the Unlock Account checkbox and click on OK to save the changes. Once the user account is unlocked, they can logged in to the client computer. Let me again show you the properties of this user account. Click on Account tab. Since this user account is unlocked, we don't have that message anymore. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer. Click OK. Enter correct user password and hit enter to sign in. This time, without any issue, our user is able to sign in to this client computer. In this video, we have learned how to configure account lockout policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, Please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.